will bless the food and then we'll let Tommy and his his friends, all of well, his little crew here, <laughs> go first, okay? Since it is his day. Love all of you all. Amen. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. What a blessing it is to be here this evening to celebrate. And it is a beautiful to look out and see a sea of beautiful people. So I'm just thankful to be here. Uh, we're going to bless the food. I think everybody's about ready for that moment. Uh, so we just uh, let us bow our heads for a quick prayer. Father in heaven, we come this evening. Thank you, Lord. Thanking you for this opportunity of fellowship. Thanking you for this opportunity of love. We lift up brother Tommy Smith the third Lord because we come to celebrate him and his achievements and his accomplishments Lord and we know that we you're not through with him there's so many things Lord that you have in store for him so Lord we just pray your preparation over his life and Lord we just ask that you would bless the food that we're about to receive that it be nourishment for our minds and for our bodies bless this family and bless this home and for these and all blessings we ask in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Okay, Tommy, if you give us like five minutes, and uh, I'm going to come get you guys, and then we can just start going in a little group at a time, okay? Just five minutes is all. Tommy's granddaddy. <laughs> I don't know how I got up here to do anything, but my grandkids, my kids, I support all of them, and I love you. Wish you well and everything. Be better than I was. That's the purpose. Thank you. We're gonna have some words from Robin Dunlap. <laughs> Thank you, MC. Thank you. Good job. Hello, everyone. My name is Robin Dunlap. Christine is my best friend. And I have to first give honor to her because she is a strong, very powerful, dedicated woman. And she has raised her family impeccably. And she does not miss a beat when it comes to family. Look around you. That's her, right there. So let's give Christina a hand. She is an outstanding mother and she is an award-winning grandmother. And let me tell you a little bit about that. When Tommy was five, Nia was, how old would Nia have been? Three. She would, I met her, I met her grandchildren and Cole, I met them before I met the, the, the sons. So I'm like, okay, where, where are the people that had these people right here? So. Christine has always put her grandchildren in front and shown them things, her son the same way. So I just, Chris asked me to speak today. And the reason I'm speak, speaking today is because she could not be the great, wonderful, she is a great grandmother. She stole Gigi from me, that's all right. But she could not be the wonderful grandmother that she is without these grandchildren. These grandchildren are respectful. They honor adults. Nia and Tommy have been to my house numerous times and I can never ever remember a time where Christine had to correct them or had to put them in their places because they've always been respectfully behaved. And I honor their parents for that. Wonderful mother, Yolanda. Wonderful father, Mr. Tommy. Very impressed with their raising of their children. So with all that said, I can only hope, my grandchildren are actually here. I don't know where they are at this moment. But I can, ho I can only hope that someday when my grandchildren graduate from college, I can be this proud and stand up and have Christine speak for me uh, for my grandchildren's uh, celebration. So, let me tell you a little bit about this guy. So, 
when he was five, he came over to my house, and they loved my mom. My mom was always tell, come here, come here, get over here, give me a hug, give me a kiss. So I was up in the kitchen, and I was like, I kept hearing this recital of, you know, repeating, repeating. I went down there, and I said, what? I listened, and mom was teaching them the Lord's Prayer. Y'all remember that? Mom was teaching them the Lord's Prayer. And then she had a song, and she taught them, trying to teach them the books of the Bible. So that's what mom was doing with these kids. So I've got pictures of them hugging mom with her dog and everything. And God rest her soul, she loved um, and loved me. And let me, when I speak of love, let me just kind of back up a little bit. I missed this in the intro. Tommy loved his grandma. Let me tell y'all something. He would call his grandmama anytime during the day or night. Want to know where his grandmama was, want to know if he was going with his grandmama, want to know if he was spending the night with his grandmama. He loves his grandma. So, also, when they got a little bit older, school, you know how school is, struggle. Whose favorite subject is math? Just raise your hands. Let me see a raise your hand. Whose favorite subject is math? Oh, she's got her hand up. Very good. You see her alone. You're alone. Not many people do. Let you Move your chair. No. <laughs> But my husband would have the children in the neighborhood, including Tommy and Mia. He would be sitting in his recliner, King Dunlap is his name, and he would have them all stand in a line and stand in front of him, in between him and the TV, so this was some important stuff. And he would have them recite their time tale. Tommy can today stand in front of you. He'll probably want to come and get the mic and do it. He can stand up here <laughs> in front of you and tell you what eight times nine is like that. What ten times six is like that. Because he memorized those standing right there in my hand. So I know that this young man and the fine young man that he has grown into was not easy. He did not just step out on faith. He stepped up. He did the work, he put the time in, he was dedicated, and he loves all of y'all. And I know he does, I know he loves me, because he tells me, I just love you, I love you. So it is an honor, I am so proud of you, so proud of you. And it is an honor for me to stand before all of your friends and family to tell them that what you have achieved is the sky. And now the moon is your next goal. I honor you and I congratulate you. All right, anybody else? Any of your friends want to come up and speak? All right. We're going to just stay going. So if y'all got anything y'all like to hear, please come and see me. Here we go. Baby, wobble, 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 ba